guys, it's Lydia here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to laser engrave on glass using the Akbar P2 33 watt laser. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back. So as I mentioned, we're going to be laser engraving um, glass on this super cool Akmer 33 watt laser. I've been doing lots of testing with it, and I finally found the perfect settings for using this laser and engraving um, glasses. Right now, I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, whiskey glass, but I've done wine glasses, shot glasses, uh, pint glasses, just a bunch. And I've got the settings correctly um, dialed in. So let's hop right over to the laser and I will show you guys um, how to do it. The first thing you want to do is get some tempered paint. Um, this is just washable um, paint. I got it off Amazon. You can get really any kind. And coat your glass where you're going to engrave it. I just basically put some paint on here and then use my finger to spread it around. I don't use a brush or a roller because it leaves streaks. Um, and then this way I can get a thicker coat. Uh, I usually put two coats on just to make sure it's um, completely black and then let this dry. And I only do the one side that I'm going to be do the, doing the engraving on. So just a simple coat, let it dry, and then it's ready to be engraved. So now to the laser, we have our rotary device um, connected. And that is just to the back part here on this Acmer um, 33 watt laser. This is the P2. And uh, make sure if you have this switch here to turn it to R, which is rotary, which disables the Y axis um, and turn it into the rotary. So I'm going to turn it on, make sure it's connected to the computer, and then we will set up the glass. So it's a little loud, but I have these um, set up on here for the glass. They will slide on the inside of the cup um, and then I will tighten it just a little bit. Not too much because with thin glasses like these, you can break them. So make sure not to squeeze the glass too tightly. So with this cup, I could actually just slide it on there without having to tighten this at all. And now the next thing we want to do is make sure it is level. So I'm going to turn it to the non-painted side and I'm going to put the level on here. And as you can see, it's pretty close, um, but I'm going to loosen this, adjust that, and then make sure it is level. So that is close enough. And as you guys can kind of see, this is where the little um, fingers go inside of the glass. So that is set. And the next thing we're gonna do is set the height of the laser head. So I have this little piece on the side here. I'm gonna lower it. And as you can see, it is touching it already. So that is perfect. If it wasn't, I would loosen this um, make sure it touches it and then um, tighten it back down. But the height is already set, so I'm going to flip it up, turn the laser back on, and then set it up where I want it. So in the computer here, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that rotary is enabled. And then you're going to go up to, I believe it is tools, and then rotary setup. And this is where you're going to enter this number here. Um, we are going to measure the around this glass with a tape measure here, just like a fabric one, and then we use the the millimeter. So you wrap it around, um, and then it will give you your number. It is roughly 100 or 241 millimeters. So that is where we would put that number in there. So once the number's in there, just click OK. And now um, everything should be set. So I set a box here to the size of my glass, um, which is from the top to this right here where the engraving area would be. And then I center my design to that and I set it to job origin right here, which means this is where my laser head is right now. And that's where you can see it is here. I'm gonna turn the laser uh, on so you can kind of see where the dot would be. So if I move this, and that just allows me to um, set it up um, in the right position. So once everything is set, I'm going to hold shift and press frame, and then we will be able to see where the design is located. So you wanna make sure that every time you frame it, it is in the area where you have painted black. And if you need to, you can just spin your rotary device and do it again. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, again, make sure all your settings are correct in your rotary because if they are not, then it will not engrave correctly. So my rotary is the chuck, enable rotaries on, my circumference is set, 
And if this is your first time ever using your rotary device on your laser, or this new rotary device, you're going to have to figure out your millimeters per rotation, but that is for another video. Today I'm just showing you how to laser engrave on this laser. So once everything is set, everything's good, make sure your settings are correct. The settings I use for this exact um, Acmer P2 33 watt laser is 10,000 millimeters a minute and 100 power, with the interval being 0 0.1 millimeters. That is what has worked for me. So now I'm going to send the engraving and let it go. So once it has finished, all we gotta do is move the laser head out of the way. And as we can see, it has completely engraved the glass. So all we need to do now is wipe it off with some water and reveal the etching. So as you can see, it did engrave okay. However, because some of the paint was super thick, it was a little inconsistent here, as you can see, um, which is unfortunate because now the glass is ruined. Um, I'll have to engrave it again, but just keep that in mind. Make sure your paint is consistent and you don't have too much um, or else it'll look inconsistent like this. However, I was able to successfully engrave all of these glasses and they came out perfect. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Super, super simple. Um, again, I've tested this on most of my glasses and it's worked completely. Um, mostly every time, the only times I've had mess ups would be if the glass would fall off the rotary device um, or other things like that, or the, the thickness of the paint wasn't thick enough or it was too thick. So other than that, the laser has performed phenomenally um, with engraving these glasses. It's super, super easy to do. And it helps me get glasses out to customers um, with either custom engravings on them or just a generic logo. Uh, so definitely check out the rotary device and the laser to engrave your special cups like I did today. It's super awesome and a great way to make business sales. Again, uh, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about settings or where I get my glasses, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm always there to answer your guys' questions and see um, what you think about the video. Again, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.